What's up, everybody? It's HTG Brian here, and we are back with level 16 Targnado Story for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. As per usual, we get that gold brick and the trophy achievement for completing the level, and we fall short of that stud requirement. So away we go into that cutscene, yo. Avada, my little skirmish. What have I told you about trying to understand my strategies? I, I'm sorry, your Kangasty. I just want to try and get closer to your genius. <laughs> they obviously intend to restore the Nexus, but for what purpose? <laughs> Ravonna! When Cosmos said, Lady, what do you think was late? You are welcome. Anytime, you know? Yeah. And that was the first time Cosmo could talk. Uh huh. Like, really good talk. Wow. That's fascinating, Cosmo. I just, I have to do a check on the team's progress. If you could send Noah's manifest, that would be a big help. No problem. You will have it before with Porto. She's only <laughs> Cosmo can still tell of men throwing steam. <laughs> but he no throw steam. Wow, that dog can talk. Hey, watch out. Oh. Sorry. <gasps> I'd prefer to his yellow jacket. Man, I need a vacation. Ah, vacations. Seeing as we just came back from one, we probably don't need another one, but uh, I think we'd be selling ourselves short if we would uh, deny the opportunity. <laughs> Which actually might be presenting itself here pretty soon. I'll get to that at a later date, though. Uh, well, look at here. We've got Hulk. And we can do the old Hulk smash, which I have a little bit of fun with on our way to our next objective, which is uh, that purple uh, arrow point marker there. But uh, as it turns out, it's out in the water. And I wasn't sure how far we had to go and if Hulk was even going to be capable of going underwater. So I switched to somebody who I thought would have no problem. But then as it turns out, he actually needs a little assistance too and I don't notice this right away but it turns out he's got a rebreather on so that's kind of cool like I, I thought maybe they would just like enable like you know his ability to breathe underwater because he's a superhero and it's a video game and why not because it's easy to <laughs> overlook things like that and look at Hulk swimming <laughs> where are you going Hulk but uh, as it turns out he actually has a rebreather in his mouth now I get a little caught up on my destination here I kind of take the wrong way or the long way I guess there's really no wrong way but certainly a little bit longer going in through here basically we want to be on the other side of this building here and it's kind of the same situation where we got to go inside but we got another door to go in, and we were in the wrong one. So we'll go ahead and drop down onto this little level here, and we'll go and take a little left once we go in. And, you know, I maybe could have snuck through that wall there, but I don't think I could. But go ahead and go into the halo, and away we go. I'll keep talking as long as there's someone left to listen. Still on the trail of the Nexus fragments. Haven't they found them all yet? Our heroes hope it's second time lucky getting into Lemuria. This time, they're out for payback, and the Hulk is just the game changer they need. That green guy that wiped the grin off of Tuma's fishy face. Things are looking up for the heroes. But if they retrieve all the fragments and bring nowhere to Chronopolis, what then? Will the head of a giant celestial actually be of use in a fight with a megalomaniac Kang? Iron Man thinks it will. What does that genius know? He seems to think allowing Spider-Man to stay part of the team is okay. Well, it ain't. The bad news is that Atuma's managed to supercharge a control pearl using a Nexus shard. So watch your backs. Blast! Talk, you fool! Of all the times they get frozen in ice! Stop right there, Atuma! We need that Nexus shard! Give up control of my own personal yet! Never! And when he breaks free, you will know the reason why. <laughs> Soon you will be free, my pet. And then no one will be able to stop us. Okay, everyone. Let's get that mine and stop Atuma before it's too late. 
is it just me or does like kindergarten cop like totally come to mind every time they say the name Atuma? Like it's not a Tuma. <laughs> like I know that's terrible, but at the same time, to me, that's hilarious. So, anyways, a little old school nostalgia for you if you're old enough to know what Kindergarten Cop is. Uh, if you're not, highly recommend the movie. It's very charming and fun and adventurous. And all right, enough plug in a movie from the '80s that I have nothing to do with. All right, we got uh, little things to smash around here. And as it turns out, what we really need to do is grab a character with the strength ability to go ahead and rip off this green handle here and again he only oh no he uses both handles that's the first character we've seen in a while that actually utilizes both handles now look at me i am trying to smash crab smash but it doesn't work out i try to attack the crab but see the problem was hulk was too big to ride on the crab so it didn't give me the icon indicating that i could actually hop on it, it takes me a minute to figure it out that that's what i need to do of course we got to get our pinch on that's right we've got these little coral pieces or i don't know some vines or some something going on over here and that crab pincher does the trick for us really i guess we just snap the chain i guess i was reading into that a little too much and uh, the mind goes kablooey and look at that we actually block off the path for a tuma and uh, he has no way to get in here. But now we got to go chase him down. Oh, missed opportunity. I did not see that bluesy up there first time through. So uh, anyhow, we've got this. He's like a Yeti. He pops out. And we have no problem. Like, I switch right on over to Hulk. And it almost seems unfair. Like, I just pin him in the corner. And it kind of reminded me of my old Street Fighter 2 days when I used to grab Ken or Ryu and, and just go and just smash buttons and, and get my opponent into the corner so they couldn't move. That was kind of a flawed part of that game where if you had the momentum, there was no stopping you. But uh, it comes into play here, and it works out quite well until he gets off and running there. And then he gets stuck on the crab. That's silly crab again. But uh, as it turns out, he's trying to make his way up there, and the game finally realizes that. And he gets up, and he gets into a strength match here. So we'll go ahead and spam, 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 spam. That's right. Hit that button as rapidly as you possibly can. And uh, be aware they're going to switch it up on you a time or two. But that's right. We give him the old pow right in the kissa and knock him into this new tube here, which uh, we'll get all of our characters to come inside too. Come on in. It's The water's warm. And look at that. We use... Uh, Doctor Strange to go ahead and manipulate this. Uh, well, I guess it's the big door that we knocked uh, Buddy through, Torg through, and uh, look at that. We put it back on there. and gives us a little hint right here. The camera kind of swings over and, and shows us those three sequential... They're buttons, I guess. They look like clamshells or something, but turns out there's six of them. There's three on either side of this computer here, and really what we need to do is we need to match up the color of those clamshells with the color of the exterior clam. So look on the bottom side of your screen here. The far right one is red, so we'll go ahead and keep on hitting that right one until it's red the middle one was white i believe wasn't it yep and then we matched them all up because the left one was green now we got to do that on the far left side as well so uh we'll go ahead and make the far right one green as indicated by the outside one there i think the right the, the middle one was white right yeah and the far left one is red you've got red on you so we'll go ahead and look at that it drops it down and booyaka show it presents us with the water wheel so we'll go ahead and flip that around and it's actually going to drain all the water out of this area we're in which is going to come in handy for a minute as apparently our rebreathers weren't working very well or something so uh we we actually find our way out of this room rather quickly considering that that was kind of our main task to uh, get rid of the water so uh, look at that all the air bubbles come out and then uh, we knock him all the way over there and this, this next part's pretty cool I, I i won't lie i had fun with this next part we got the uh what do they call that? An anglerfish coming up here. We get to control an anglerfish, and it's it's kind of fun. But, oh, no, Torg's back for more. So we go ahead, and we'll switch on over to Hulk and focus directly on him. And I use my old Street Fighter II tactics again and go ahead and pit him up against the wall and give him the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. And, of course, Hulk's strong, so the health meter depletes rather quickly. And, hey, if you have not already, please do us a favor and click that subscribe button. We would love to have your subscription to our YouTube channel so we can go ahead and present you with our future uploads. We try to upload every day. Often Tuesday and Sundays are our off days, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we upload on those days as well. And 
Lately, we went on vacation, too, so we missed a day or three here and there, but uh, we're pretty good about almost every day. And if you guys have certain days you'd like to see us upload, let us know. We're always interested in your feedback, as, uh, you know, a lot of these videos are created specifically for you and your needs. So we want to know what you want and need. And, hey, look at that, a purple and a bluesy twosy out on the front edge there. So make sure you make your way to that ledge before you build up the second object here. Now, you probably noticed I smashed all three of those glowing objects in the middle of the dance floor here and built them up into a banana, and uh, he went ahead and jumped on that because I guess uh, a giant Yeti can't resist a banana <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and build up the other pieces into a Captain America shield switch spot which we'll get our ba boing on with that switch and bounce it off and look at that we've all of a sudden activated the chain that the banana was on and it took him up up and away so see you later buddy uh, we got him locked up I don't know if that's got a, a cap on it or not but uh, hopefully he has a rebreather if not Ooh, and look at that. All of a sudden, we get this uh, switch here. So we'll go ahead and spin the win. And look at that. A couple of items pop up out of nowhere. And ooh, it reveals an electric panel. So we'll switch on over to Thor. And of course, pump, 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 pump it up. Charge up the electric power by holding circle or B, depending on which platform you're playing on. I guess it could be something else if you're on a PC or Nintendo Switch. And uh, speaking of Switch, after powering that up, it actually reveals a switch. So we'll go ahead and approach that. But it turns out we need to use uh, not Thor. We have to switch on over to Banner. That's right. Bruce Banner happens to be on the scene. And remember I mentioned that we had an anglerfish we had to control? Here we go. It's pretty fun. We get to chomp, chomp, chomp down on a tuma. And uh, he's in that little bubble. So we just follow him around, get up close and personal, and give him an old chomp a -rooney. Now, I didn't look at Tyler P's achievement guide, trophy achievement guide, that he put together for our main website that has all the locations of the collectibles. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be a collectible inside that box right there. So if you're in a hurry to get those collectibles, feel free to go ahead and chomp that down and take your chances with it. And if you really want to get those collectibles, I highly recommend you go and check out our trophy achievement guide on our main website, happythumbsgaming.com. And yeah, shout out to Tyler P for hooking that up. And of course, hey, shout out to Warner Bros. Now, as you guys probably know, that WB promotion in the upper right hand corner that you've seen on all of our videos. And of course, you see it on our thumbnails and probably other places too on our social media posts. That's just referencing the fact that we have actually been gifted this game by Warner Brothers. They are the publisher of the game and or distributor, I should say, mainly. And uh, the, either way, for whoever and whatever they're doing all together, they're hooking us up. And that's what really matters, that you guys know that we were gifted this game. So, oh, to the yeah, I have disclosed all that information yet again. And look at that. Speaking of uh, moving along, we've gone ahead and moved away into the next room here. It's another tube. And we're going to need somebody with the strength. And uh, somebody can crack a wall that's already cracked. I guess somebody can destroy a cracked wall is really what we're after. And look at that. We've let all the water in again. And uh, now we can kind of float our way all the way through. And watch out for the floating teeth that miraculously drop right as we go through. Uh, someone didn't brush while they were supposed to. And all right, we're making a look at that. That's a big carcass. That must have been like a megalodon or something because that was huge. Certainly glad we don't have to deal with that. And, uh, hey, if you haven't already, check us out on Patreon.com. That's right. You can be a patron and support us directly, which is pretty awesome because YouTube's been a little bit shady lately. That's right, YouTube. I'm uploading this video to you specifically, but you've been letting us down. And Oh, shh. Hot scene. Okay. No more tricks. Let's settle this once and for all. Give it up, Atuma. There's no way out. Nowhere to run, Atuma. Nowhere to hide. Oh, yeah. That's right. We're back in action here, and we're going to give him some dance lessons. Of course, the old cha-cha is uh, highly recommended. Now, I thought I would try something a little different, and I thought I'd use my electric abilities to go ahead and target Atuma and his buddies, Tula. But as it turns out, it doesn't do that much damage. You know, it actually works. It effectively knocks him back and does hurt him and the other guys around him. But it does not do rapid damage, and we could actually take him out a lot faster, as I find out here in a minute. Uh, and I get a little confused, too. I'm like, which way did he go? Which way did he go? There's all these guys with health meters above them, and they all have kind of the same overall outfit and color scheme on. So uh, I was a little confused, but I found him. Here he is. And uh, you can see by getting all up close and personal, 
and using Thor's mighty muscles and Mjolnir or Mjolnir. Or I, I can never say that right. I always mess that up. So, ha ha at me. Everybody laugh. I can't pronounce yet another word. But uh, it turns out he actually bails after we take him down to about the one-third mark. And all of his baddies come in and try to take us out. Now, this almost actually requires the electric abilities of Thor, as there are a couple of bad guys that have some force fields. And look at me, I'm just kicking back and uh, letting it rain electricity. But turns out there's a couple of guys that are targeting me rapidly, and uh, they took me down. So not very friendly foes, but I guess that's the way it goes. And Look at that, we've got uh, only a couple left, and once we get all of them down and out, we actually get uh, a Tuma back, and uh, we take him down for the final time, and it actually takes us to the final cutscene of this level, and then, you know, we're not quite there, but we're almost in the home stretch of the story, because we only got 17, 18, 19, and 20 left, so four levels, and then we'll be off to the free play, which I know you guys are excited for, and we are too. We want to go ahead and get to this collectible hunting, as uh, Tyler's already put together the guide, and he, it's just been waiting for me. But, uh, hey, guess what? Atuma, down! Talk may be history, but I'll find another to do my bidding. Maybe your big green friend there. <laughs> Hulk smash! <laughs> Tora, no! My bow! <laughs> That's got a sting. Hey, that's my line. Look at that commotion in the ocean. You know, these guys are pretty punny. I, I got to give it up to them. You know, I, I, I love the wordplay. It's something I feel that I s succeed in quite often. Uh, I fail miserably every so often as well. But, hey, we got that level completed, which unlocked free play, gave us a good brick, and, of course... Uh, well, we got the trophy achievement, which we already talked about, so moving along from that, uh, we did not get a chance to freely, 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 but we will. We'll come back in our free play once we get all of these awesome characters that we're unlocking now and on the next couple of levels as well. And then, of course, we'll uh, follow our trophy achievement guide and figure out what we need for free play before returning. And I know we'll get ourselves at least a stud brick multiplier. That's right, the pink stud brick this time not red they're pink because it's all uh well we'll get there we'll explain all that once once i really know it all because I, I i'm still trying to figure it out but uh hey look at that that's actually gonna wrap it up for lego marvel superheroes 2 level 16 tornado story hopefully you guys found this video fun entertaining maybe a wee bit helpful as well and uh hey if you guys have any questions or things like that head on over to our social media pages we'd love to hear from you of course we got a thumbby must see and if you haven't checked out some of our Merch already that's right search some htg merch why don't you we got all sorts of fun stuff and if there's some things you'd like to see we don't have let us know too but as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time see ya